Oh, hi. This is David Morelli from the Awaken Radio Show. So yesterday's show was awesome with Dr. Lynn Morell, and it was all about ending the war of spirit versus body. So go ahead and listen to this highlight reel and enjoy. It was an awesome show. So here we go. For many of us, before we become aware, are driven by our unconscious, subconscious mind. So if we have things that happen to us we don't like, we stuff them. And that stuffing goes right to the cellular level. I see this over and over and over again. And if you look at a cell, imagine, and we do have this, it's called autoimmune issues, where cells compete with each other and attack one another in our body. Mm-hmm. Something like 72 trillion cells. If you think negatively, your cells will lose their energetic light. They'll become dense. Yeah, so in our lives when we're, when we're getting down on ourselves about not having accomplished a goal or we're getting down on ourselves about having said the wrong thing in a conversation or when uh, we sort of pick ourselves apart, you know, or one another even because it's in a way it doesn't matter whether you're criticizing somebody else or criticizing yourself or having that level of, of pity party like you were saying, that sort of heavier, denser, downward spiral, that that actually affects our physiology and our biology for six hours after we do it. Exactly. Exactly. And and the other really fascinating thing about it is is that, you know, these so called areas of our beingness, let's just be really concrete. We've got the emotional body, the mental body, our beliefs, the physical body. They're all levels of our beingness that coexist within us. So the 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 way to end the war between the material and the spiritual is to recognize we are multidimensional beings, to recognize that we are creators. And if that's not woo-woo at all. You ask someone who has a brilliant idea, where did it come from? It came from nowhere. You know, this idea pops into their head or they had a problem that they were trying to solve and they awaken from a dream and there's the answer. So mm. everything we've talked about metaphorically and, and energetically is also mirrored in the body because they're not separate. The material and the spiritual is not separate. So feeding your body good food, dealing with the the DNA and the aspects of the cells that turn off, it's a very real thing. So food, good food, organic food, there's roughly 85,000 toxins in our water and environment. Newborn babies are found with up to 287 toxic chemicals in their placenta before well, they even wow. come into the world. So feeding our bodies and feeding our minds good food is really key. You know, it's just a whole enchilada. We have to treat the body, the mind, and the spirit. And the real question is, if we did eat an enchilada... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you <bless> that <laughs> So, so I appreciate that because you're really talking about the, that everything that we put into ourselves, you know, whether it's that we put in, you know, that we read things and that goes in, you know, or we eat things and that goes in, or we have conversations and some level that goes in. So in a way we're always, we have to be aware of what we're feeding our whole selves with, including our biology and, and what that then does to the, the vibration, if you will, of the whole. Right? Exactly. So, yeah. So those were the highlights from yesterday's show. To get the whole show, go over to Awaken on iTunes.com. And to get the access to being able to share your experience, go to Facebook.com forward slash Awaken. I'll see you there.